Hey guys. Coach Jeremiah, Coach Aaron from Able Four Hockey, and today we're going to talk about off ice. Man, how important is off ice training? It's super important to be a uh, multi-sport player, multi—you know—sport um, athlete. It's super important, especially younger ages. I agree. I agree. Uh, right now, springtime, right after hockey, you got uh, lacrosse, which is very close to baseball, or yeah. really close to hockey. Yeah. Uh, the rules are pretty much the same, except for the only thing I don't like is you can whack. People with a stick. Did you know in lacrosse you can't extend your arm like in hockey? Correct. Like guard. That's, yes. It's just like blowing mind blowing. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Like kind of weird rules, but at least the kids are staying active, right? So baseball, soccer, lacrosse, uh, volleyball mm -hmm. is in the springtime. So there's so many things to do, track and field. it's good. Yeah, track and field. Track and field guy. And it's good. It's good to keep those muscles and using different muscles. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think it's fantastic. So if you're someone who is just sitting at home. Playing video games, maybe, maybe some NHL. That's silly fun. You still got to get out there and you still got to do uh, some sort of exercise. Push ups, sit ups. I don't really care if you do some jumping jacks in between the games. We, so. got, we got basketball hoops here now. Yeah. Down, shoot some, some hoops. Absolutely. It's a mark. Yeah. We got, we got it set up for deck hockey. Plus, we got it set up for basketball right now. So, yeah, get down to the mark, do some stuff. Get outside your house and do some stuff. And it's so important to do more than one sport. So, just work those different groups and give your mind. A little mental break, right? And I mean, when August rolls around, you're chomping at the bits to get back on the ice. I'm chomping at the bits already. <laughs> now it's been two weeks. So, all right. So make sure you're out there. Make sure you're staying uh, healthy. Make sure you're continuing to grow, get stronger, and uh, we'll see you sometime in August. All right, we're back with our NHL predictions. Now we are doing this video one day early, so I guess technically it could change, but most likely these are the matchups of the NHL teams going into the 2022 playoffs. So why don't you start us off with the uh, the Capitals and the Panthers. Yeah, so uh, my little brother just got a dog and named him Ovi, so I kind of want to go with the Capitals, but Panthers are red hot right now. They are. Uh, Jonathan Huberto's unreal. 85 assists or something with it's, one game left. That's crazy. That's, um, I mean, that's going to be a 10-year record. I'm... I, it's got to be some kind of record. <laughs> First Panther, I mean, sure, has to be, absolutely. Least, so um, they're exciting to watch. So I'm, I'm going Panthers here. What about you? I'm going Capitals. I can't go against the Panthers or against the Capitals. Ovechkin, Kuznetsov. I, I mean, they turn it on in playoff time. Let's be honest. He's a he's a killer. He's a gamer. He's he a is. Gamer, so he is. I don't know. I'm going to school in Florida. I, I want to see more Florida uh, wins. You know, Tampa getting two wins the last couple of years. Um, it's good for the state of Florida. Good, good for hockey, in my opinion. I, I, I agree. If you want to go, and you used to live in Virginia. If so you, if you want to go, go for over, the, over. that's true. I guess. A little bit <laughs> but if you really want to go for the best in the NHL, absolutely, you want the Panthers yeah. to win. But you can't count those Capitals. I mean, Capitals. <laughs> yeah. Moving right along, we got uh, next is Toronto and Tampa Bay. Pretty this is a no-brainer. This is a great matchup. No-brainer. <laughs> uh, if anybody picks Toronto. <laughs> You're just this, a contrarian. Here, this might be the year. Awesome, Matthew, sixty goal scorer. No, um, no, no hope in goalie though. No, uh, but I'm taking Tampa. Uh, Kucherov, yeah. is dangerous, Vasilevsky. Yeah, all, so. <laughs> all that crap for just all that crap for a Tampa Bay. Yeah, I, I gotta you know pitch a little bit for no the way. other teams. So. No way, no but. way. Vasilevsky's unreal. He's unstoppable in the playoffs. No, nope. Okay, nope. well, you know what? Let's nope. just let's move on to Boston yeah. and Carolina. Here. Yeah, um, I actually have the underdog here. All right. Who, who do you think the underdog is? Who do you think the underdog? I think Boston's the underdog. Oh, I think Carolina's the underdog. Carolina has been red hot lately. Boston's been struggling. Boston's Go tough. I mean, defensive team, they're tough. They're tough, but this rendition of the, the Bruins is much older than past. Correct. Um, these Carolina guys, hungry guys. They are. Uh, they're younger. Younger. Freddie Anderson and Nett for them. It's hard, it's hard to go I, against I think, Freddie right now. I think it's tough. I think it's tough. I think it's Carolina's going to win. Um, I do believe that they are underdogs until they can really kind of prove themselves I, to be otherwise. That's, that's, fair. that's um, fair. Boston's a veteran team. They're going to play a good defensive team. And you know in the playoffs, if you have a good goalie and you have good defense, it does matter. So, so, and I think Carolina's got both those right now. I agree. More so than Boston, at least. Yep. This will be a great series, but I think I think it, I think think Carolina wins. That's probably a seven game. A lot of these Eastern teams, oh, seven game series. The whole, the whole East. Let's just oh. right, move it on. Yeah. Rangers, <laughs> Penguins. Little, you got a homer pick? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Rangers. 
just He's because an idiot. <laughs> Panarin, he, Panarin. He is. is a minute, yeah. Did you see that the video yesterday of him? No. Puck protection video. No. They yeah, highlight on. We'll have to, we'll have to look at it after this. But it's nuts, nuts. Panarin just dancing we'll around the, four guys and just puck protecting against them all. Yeah, no I mean he's just like a great man against. But Adrian. time out. Most complete player voted, voted in the NHL this year. Sidney Cross, complete player. This is one of his best years in recent history, right? Latang, great year. Even you know me, I'm a I'm a Latang hater, yeah. and yet here we are. I'm rooting for Latang. I, I can't believe I'm saying that, but I'm rooting for Latang. And Malkin, he's going to be super hungry. He had a suspension, had a couple injuries this year. He's come out on fire. Um, I, I think, and you know what might help in their favor? Their contracts are up. Yeah, so they so might be playing play harder. They're playing yeah. for more money. Absolutely, they're playing so. for money. So, um, but you can't ever count out that the Rangers somehow just, always have the. Penguins number, I, I don't know. And Rangers goaltending right now is, I mean, probably Vesna winner. Correct. You know, no, uh, if he's not the Vesna winner, uh, I, I don't know. I can't even think of anybody else who's even close. He's been lights out. I maybe mean, maybe been, Colorado goalie, but and maybe. he's he's had Penguins number all season, all year, so all season. It's going that's going to seven games. That's my prediction. Penguins win in seven. Yeah. All right. Let's go to the West. Okay. okay moving on to the West, Calgary, Nashville. Yeah, uh, no brainer. No brainer. How really? They're the Flames are going to win, but I want the Predators to win. You, um, well, that's because your brother works for them. He, yeah, he works for correct. Them. So I have to. So he's kinda, another homer pick. Yeah, that's all, all my picks are. Right. <laughs> I think it'll be a great series. I really do. The last game they played against each other was fun to watch. See, I don't think so. I think this this one's over in four. I think Calgary wins. In four. I think there'll be close games, but Mark, I think that. I Mark should win in four or five. He's been really good in goal. I agree. So it's, four, I, I'd say yeah. four and five. They're going to be the the cleanest win, I think, of the West. So That's right. speaking of next one on the West, McDavid, McDavid, who are they playing? Uh, they're playing the Kings. Come on, another no brainer. Yeah, but the Oilers are like they're like the Dustin Maple Brown Leafs. is retiring. That's how old they are. No, no, come on. They've got some good young talent, they but go, I, I agree. Young, but inexperienced. Are they are they going to want to go all out for Dustin Brown, who was their captain for how many years before Copa against Ma- McDavid? Yeah, but they're they're like the dry they're, like, they're like the Maple Leafs. Dry saddle, McDavid. But you took who, who, they just crushed took, the Penguins. Crushed, crushed. The that's Penguins. why the Rangers are going to beat the Penguins. I mean, uh, now I, I, I'll, ta- I'll take the Mc, I'll take McDavid dry saddle. How many? It's six. going to seven. It's going okay, to seven. Okay, seven. But All right, I got, I got, I got the Oilers in six. Yeah, Oilers in six. All right, I think it's going to be a good series, but I think the Oilers are still going. All right, all right. We know this. No brainer here. We don't have. I, why do I even say the other team? The yeah. Avalanche probably going to be four. Yeah, in four. Not even close. They might Land give up slide. one. They might, they might give up one just because they, they, they go up three zero. Take the next game off. Have to have the fire lit on their, their, maybe, their maybe they want to live it, win it at home. Yeah, who knows. Does. Yeah, I'd I say that, that game, that's over. But, yeah. And then this is the one I like. This is going to be the most competitive one. Correct, for in sure. the West. For Absolutely, sure. the Blues and the Wild. Um, a lot of no-names. A ton of if, no-names. If you look at the Wild's roster, it makes no sense. Correct. Like, Cam Tal- Talbot's their starting goalie. Yes. Flurry's their backup. Who's their first-line center? Up the top of your head. I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, Panu? No. Fiala? No. I mean, Kirill, I have no clue. Kirill Kaprizov's filthy. He's their superstar. But other than that, name another player on the Wild. I, I can't. It's I, I can't to to a non Wild fan. I agree. I mean, I agree. But they're 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 sneaky good. We talked about this a little bit earlier. They are very they're, sneaky, they're sneaky good. good. I you know I haven't been paying attention. I haven't been paying attention. And someone told me that Minnesota's going to be in the playoffs. I go what? Yeah. Uh, but the Blues also got some pretty talented guys. I think they're more of the gritty team. Don't you think? Than, more so than the Wild? Yeah. They're okay. both they're both gritty. They're, yeah, they're both gritty but teams. I just think like the the Blues have just been having the claw every step yeah. of the way this year. Yeah, it just feels true. like I, every time I watch a Blues game, they're down 3-2 and they have to claw back to win the game. Yeah. Or every time I watch them, you know, um, every time I watch a goaltender, like he has a good game, then a bad game, and he's cl- just... Yeah, my it, fantasy it just, team knows the struggle. <laughs> right, it's just been a struggle for them, and they're still there. So I think that they have nothing to lose. And everything to gain. So I'm going the Blues in seven. I think it comes down to 
home ice advantage, and I think Minnesota has it they right do. now, yes. unless unless they lose it tonight. Correct. And I this think game play, actually does matter. This game matters for them. So, yeah. as of right now, I'm going to say Wild. If the Blues jump them in, in from, seven, it, it's going game? to seven no matter. Right? Okay, I think it's going to seven. All so right. so yeah. a lot of seven series between the Eastern and Minnesota, and then we got like four, fives, and sixes in the in the top three in the West. So who you got winning overall? The whole Stanley Cup. Who do you think? Who, who are you picking right now? Well, you get to pick right now. If I had to pick right now, um, is Jari back? I don't know. If Jari's back, it's Penguins against Colorado. Okay. I think <laughs> if Jari is not, then I'm going to go with Tampa Bay and Colorado, and Colorado's winning it either way. I'm I I think Colorado has too much pressure on them right now. I think they're going to lose it. I think the Panthers are... You're such a doubter on your own team. I know. I love... Dude, McKinnon, McCarr, a name to drill after them. They're a staple of my fantasy team. I don't think they have it this year. Who is this guy? I don't think they have it this year. I, just, I want them to. I'll take it Nashville, but uh, I don't think that Colorado's <laughs> going to win. Give me a break. No, Colorado, I hope they win. I think Panthers... It's Panthers year. But if not, Panthers have like four or five more years to win it. So, so I'm taking Panthers. Who is this guy? <laughs> All right. So, Do you believe that it's summer already? We have so much stuff going on at the mark here in the next month. It's crazy. Ice, ice comes off, and next thing you know, we have roller skating and off ice and basketball and swimming and so many other things going on. So why don't we talk a little bit about that before we uh, leave today? Well, it's funny because the whole week that the ice is coming off, we're like, oh, we're going to have a lot more time on our hands, and then we are like even more busy. It's gone. It's gone. Between so. the grant writing and the advertising and uh, – just everything. All the extra, um, for, thank for you, sure. Trevor Crowder, by the way, for sponsoring the yeah. video. So. <laughs> Thanks, Trevor. Um, so why don't you talk a little bit about roller skating? When are we starting? Yes, yeah, so we're starting uh, June 13th. Um, roller Monday. skating. No, no, roller skating. Oh, roller skating. Oh, sorry. Roller skating is May 10th, yep. um, 1 to 3. Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Yep. Um, so come bring your roller blades. Come bring your stuff. And if you don't have any, we have some here. Yep. Uh, limited quantity, but uh, it's, it's a good time. It's a good exercise. I agree. I love doing it. Yeah, and we, we I, can't wait, roller blades, I can't so. wait to get my rollerblades on and get out there. So, yeah, May 10th, Tuesday, Wednesdays, 1 to 3. I'm sure we'll add some more times when mm -hmm. the summer comes, but right now that's where we're at. So, and then the big one, off ice. Baseball's going to be over. Soccer's going to be over. Lacrosse is going to be over. School's going to be over. Yep, you're going to be looking for things to do. So, June 13th, we're starting on what days are we doing that? It's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. We're going to meet right here at the mark. We're going to do a little bit of running. We're going to do some exercises, and we're going to work on like a little bit of a skill, uh, whether it's shooting, passing, stick handling. Uh, so make sure you bring a stick, preferably not your game stick. Bring something that you're a little okay with getting beat up a little bit. Um, but, yeah, it, it's going to be a great time. I can't wait for those two things. Swimming, after you're done with your off ice, go jump in the pool, cool down a little bit. I know my kids will definitely be running in there jumping. So, yep. um, And then uh, – what else we got going on? We got basketball, right? Yeah, the, the the basketball hoops are up. Uh, we've been doing some gaming. Yeah, uh, uh, we've been getting out there and we have bragging rights over Bill well, and Logan. That's right. Yeah, we did beat Bill and Logan the other day. This forty year old still has yeah. a little bit left in him. So, um, if you have any questions, please call the mark eight one four seven two four six zero zero six. Or you can email both me or Jeremiah at Aaron at Mark M A R C the number four fun f u n dot com. You can also get us on 814hockeyacademy at gmail.com if you need to get us with it there. So uh, don't forget, get your merch, right? We have posted yep, that on merch. Facebook. I mean, we got to get the jackets back out. And we got to get some hats. When is we got to get the well, hats. Well, they were back ordered. So yeah, we're back ordered. So can't wait to have 814 hats. So, all right, for Coach Aaron, for Coach Jeremiah, we'll see you guys next time at 814 Hockey Academy.